Good morning. Good morning on this day, September the 22nd. So glad that you are here today. Uh, so glad our members who are in service are present. Uh, we thank you all uh, for your presence and thank you for being here even to worship the Lord even during this time. Uh, we pray that everyone uh, is safe you know, on Facebook and you too. We pray uh, that all is well. Well, let's get going. Let's go to our mission statement uh, where we are. Uh, and it reads it, it, that the Grace Tabernacle Missionary Baptist Church is commissioned to reach the unsaved, restore the unchurched, and make disciples within the Dallas Fort Worth Metroplex. We are committed to evangelizing sinners, equipping saints, and elevating society by responding biblically to the challenges faced by all members of our society. Our ultimate goal is to be a biblical model that glorifies God, expresses the love of Jesus Christ, and impacts the world through the empowerment of the Holy Spirit. Let's give God a hand clap of praise for giving us a common mission and realizing that that uh, mission uh, needs you. Amen. Amen. This mission needs you. Let's go to God in prayer and ask God to bless his holy word that his word uh, will be encouragement and uh, give us direction and instructions. Let's go to God in prayer. Father, in the precious and powerful name of Jesus, who is truly the Christ, we ask now, Lord, for your presence this day, this Sunday, this uh, Lord's Day. God, we pray that, God, that your word will go forth and it will not return unto you void, but it will accomplish its purpose, God. We pray for insight, understanding, and directions, uh, Lord, so that your perfect will will be done in planet Earth. Thank you for what you've done up until now. Thank you for what you're going to do. In Jesus' holy, righteous name, amen and amen. All right, that takes us to the word of God. Let's hear what God has to say to us, Grace Tabernacle, and our friends uh, in Facebook and in YouTube. Uh, there's a passage I want us to look at today uh, found in James, the first chapter uh, and the first uh, verse. James 1 and 1. Stan, thank you out of reverence for God's word and out of tradition uh, in reading the Holy Writ of God. James said these words, James, a servant of God and of the Lord Jesus Christ, to the twelve tribes scattered among the nations. Greetings. You may be seated. Amen. Amen. You may be seated. Uh, today I want to talk about the traits of a great leader. The traits of a great leader. Now I think I want us to understand this idea, this concept, and accept the assignment that God has uh, laid upon the church on planet Earth. If you are a believer, you are a leader. And the reason for this is that every believer is given influence. Now the question is, is what are you or what am I doing with the influence that I have on planet Earth? The word uh, implies that we are the south of the Earth, that, that we are the preservers. We are the ones who keeps the, the world from decaying faster 
Amen. It's just like if you have a refrigerator, the purpose of your refrigerator is to help preserve that the food that you put in it. Now, if you put in, and I'm a witness of this because I do this all the time, uh, I don't clean my icebox enough because just because you have an icebox don't mean that your food won't spoil. It means that it spoils uh, at a slower pace. Are y'all with me? Mm -hmm. it, it's, not, it's not saying that the world is not decaying, but we as believers preserve it and make it the case slower. It will take longer if, if, uh, 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 because we are on in planet Earth. Are y'all with me? We preserve it. Uh, if you think the world is bad now, Take us out of it, and it would be worse. Are y'all with me? And so I want us to understand that God has ordained believers to be leaders because we have influence. Are y'all with me? And, and so I, I want to talk about what is a, a, a great leader, the traits, what are the traits are of a great leader and uh, Brother James uh, is a good example of what a Christian ought to be. All right. Are y'all with me? Now the first thing I want us to look at is that James knew who he was. All right. He knew who he was. He said James a servant of God. James a servant of God. Uh, what sticks out uh, about James is, is not just what he uh, called himself, but what he did not call himself. He did not call himself the brother of the Savior. He, did, he didn't do that. Yeah. He, he didn't do that. He, he just said, James, I, I, I'm, I'm just James. Amen. Amen. He did not uh, try to, to, to blow himself up. Amen. Uh, and I think uh, that uh, he gives us a good example. As a matter of fact, the word talks about that. I want us to look, if you will, over at Romans, the, uh, the uh, 12th chapter, the third verse. Right. Romans 12th chapter, third verse. Look what it says. For by grace given me, I say to every one of you, do not think of yourself <clears throat> more highly than you are. Uh -huh. Amen. It, it, it implies, uh, G, that we ought to not be too haughty. Yeah, yeah. yeah just because, amen, just because we, we are the king's kids, we, we ought to not exalt ourselves mm -hmm. uh, too highly. And, right. and look down, listen at this, on, on other folk. Amen. But, but we need to realize uh, that, that uh, uh, we need to look at ourselves soberly. That we are saved not because of our character, but we're saved by grace. It is, it's, it's an unmerited favor that is the reason we say We on our way to heaven? Yes, we are. Uh, but, but that doesn't mean that we ought to look down on us. Matter of fact, we ought to look at ourselves as servants and to see that uh, uh, others need us and, and, and hopefully uh, our humility will influence them to become a part of God's church. Amen. Now let me show you uh, I think one of the greatest leaders in, 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 in all of history uh, and let's see what the word said about him. Let, if you will turn with me a little bit today, look at Numbers, Numbers, the 12th chapter in the third verse. Numbers, the third chapter, third verse. You got to say amen. amen. Uh, it says this, now Moses was a very humble man, more humble than anyone else 
on the face of the earth. Now here's the, uh, by, by most arguably, one of the greatest leaders in all human history. Yeah. The, the Bible said he was humble. Yeah. He, he, he was humble. Matter of fact, can I tell you this? As a believer, we ought to make people feel better being around us. Right. Have you ever seen somebody, uh, only thing they talk about it themselves? <laughs> The only thing he talk about is what he got, what he do, what he doesn't, he doesn't exalt. He does not make anybody around him feel better about themselves. Can I tell you this? I believe that Jesus, the, 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 uh, over in Luke, it, it says that the sinners, this is what it says, gathered around him. He attracted from them. And I believe the reason why is that he made folks feel good about themselves. Amen. That, that as believers, we people ought to be drawn to us uh, because we make them feel good about themselves. Are you with me? We're not all the time talking about what we what, what we think we need to be talking about, but but we exalt other people. We encourage them to feel good. Am I making sense here? And I believe James did that. That that that. Now James. Uh, we, uh, as, as far as we know, did not accept Jesus Christ while he was alive. Yeah. Now, it was after uh, uh, Jesus' death that James, amen, got saved and became eventually one of the leaders in the early church. Am I making sense? Yeah. That, 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 that while Jesus was alive, uh, matter of fact, uh, uh, it, 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 uh, uh, they thought, matter of fact, scripture said they kind of thought Jesus had lost it. They, they, uh, matter of fact, oh, uh, let me see this. Let, let me look at Mark, the third chapter. Look, look, look with me. Mark, the third chapter, look at verse 20. And it says this. Then Jesus entered a house, and again a crowd gathered, so they, so that he and his disciples were not even able to eat. And when his family heard this, they went to take charge of him. Look, for they said he's out of his mind. The brother, the brother, we, we need, we need to commit this brother. This brother right talking about he's the son of God. Are oh, y'all with me? That James, why Jesus, like they thought he had lost it. They, they were a long time ago. They said you could earn money uh, by sending folks to the praise the house. But anyway, they were going to get them some money because they thought Jesus had lost it. Are oh, oh, y'all with me now? They said, now we know this boy. This boy was just like everybody else. He, he, uh, we, he cried when he heard. He, he liked to go outside and play with the other, other kids. And now he around and talking about he 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 the he son of God. Yeah, we need we need to get this boy some help. Are y'all with me? Uh, uh, it, they would get ready to have an intervention on it. it and that's what you do when, when somebody crazy, they, you have an intervention, let them know you love them, but you, that they need to go to, uh, get them some rest. But anyway, what I'm saying is that before, Amen, the the death of Jesus. Uh, his family thought he was a wacko. Are y'all with me right there in the chair? But anyway, but but after that, there was something that happened in between uh, Jesus' life and his death that convinced James that he was who he said he was. And it humbled him. Amen. It, 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 it humbled him and it, it changed him. Amen. Uh, he did not, in this text, he did not say pastor, elder, or even even say Reverend, amen. But he said just James. Mm -hmm. that, that implied that he was a simple, humble man. And that's the way we should be. Amen. That there should be humility in our spirit. Mm -hmm. That we ought to make folk, draw folk to us because we make them feel good about themselves. Are y'all with me? 
But not only was James knew who he was, but the second idea that James knew what he was. James knew what he was. James knew he was a servant. He was a lead servant. Matter of fact, if you want to be a lead, let me tell y'all this. If our church is going to grow, each one of us, amen, need to become all that we call to be. Because most people are not going to necessarily join the church based on me. A lot of people, in order to become a member, it's going to take something that you do well. Every one of us do that attracts them. Because most times before they become a member of this church, they got to know you first. And there got to be something in your life that's attracted to them. And that's what draw people to a church. The, the, the members of that church draw them to your, the church. Amen. Because they know you. Everybody knew somebody from the church before they just came in. And especially before they joined and made a commitment. And 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 and, and James knew what he was. He was and the only way it's gonna happen is that we need to serve society. Amen. I, I uh, uh uh matter of fact, I, I, I was thinking about Janelle. Janelle joined this church because I believe we 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 went in the in, uh, 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 refurbished her house. Not well, not really even refurbished, but we went and painted her house, and it was something about us serving them that attracted her. Never will forget, gee, I don't I don't know if you remember then, uh, but we were uh, uh, we used to have Mother Day bloom. And one Saturday, we was on and off. I never will forget that. And the po police stopped. And he, the policeman asked, are y'all a church? And we said, yeah, we're a church. He said, I just needed to know because I've never seen a church do something for other folks. <laughs> and that's regard true. I don't know, none of y'all brought you. What's your with that? Yeah, the, the, the police stopped. He said, I just want to know if y'all in the church. Mm -hmm. Are y'all with me? And especially a church of this color. You, you see others out here, uh, the other race out here happening in our community more, more so than we. Yeah. But 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 we'll serve, it's what we ought to be doing. And it's what will influence folk. Because we are serving, we serve. And we meeting their needs. Amen. That's easy. That's easy. And, and the reason that's so easy is because everybody got needs. Everybody got needs. The, the, the health or the, the strength of a church is how many people are attracted to us and, and we're meeting their needs. Yeah. I'm so glad that we uh, hopefully we'll get back to this, hopefully, when we get through these pandemics. Uh, that we serve people. Serving people is what will attract them and let them know, amen, that we're real. Yeah. James said he was a servant of the Lord. Now listen, this, this servant he's talking about is it, not the, the servant like you go when you go to the uh, uh, restaurant. He's not talking about a waiter. He's not, he not talking about uh, waiting and uh, you he bring you food and you tip it. He's not talking about that. He's talking about being a bond servant, a bond slave. That that whatever the master tells him to do, he does it. That's what kind of servant he is. Amen. In other words, he has no right. You know, some of us got so many rights we can't do nothing. I remember every time it looked like we tried to do something, uh, uh, I'll never forget it. I'll leave me. Uh, people come up with why we couldn't do what 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 legal, what, what legal uh, 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 problems we could get into if we did, and there are a lot of options. <laughs> when you feed, I never forget. Gee, y'all were trying to feed folk sandwiches, and we stopped y'all because somebody came over that. Did you do? You know, folk will sue you if you get them a sandwich and they and they're injured. 
All you women, I, I tell them, now, y'all, we got to stop coming up with all these things why we can't do something. We need to come up with what, what, why we can do something. Mm -hmm. Now, some things were legitimate, and I agree to that. But, but we need to look for ways to serve humanity. Mm -hmm. It will convince them that we're genuine and we are from God mm -hmm. if we are their servants. But not only did you, that James knew who he was, he, James knew what he was, but look, last but certainly not least, James knew whose he was. Look at that. Look what it says going back to James, the first chapter, verse, verse, verse. James, the servant of God. He knew he was a servant of God. Are y'all with me? That, that, that God is the father, listen at this, of all by creation and by some by conversion. Let me say that again. Yeah. God is the father of all humanity by creation. Yeah. He created every human being, but he is the father of some of us by conversion. All right. That we've accepted Christ as our savior and we were converted into the family of God. Am I making sense? James knew that he was uh, the son of God by conversion. Yeah. That something that Jesus had done that convinced him uh, beyond a doubt that he was the child of God. Are y'all with me? Yeah. And, and that's what, do you know that's what happened to just about everybody? Mm -hmm. it, everybody has to see something real in you before they accept God. Yeah. So, I never will forget. Never forget that and I have to write some of this stuff down because I never forget the night before my brother died, he called. Matter of fact, I think it was the same night of prayer meeting. Because I think I left prayer meeting going to see him because he had told us he told me and Rick Jordan, come to my house. He was at the home uh, before the night is out. That's what he told me. And, uh, and we came and we prayed for him. He knew he was going to die. I, I don't know how, but he knew he was getting ready to die. And he called me and Rick Jordan. And later on in a book, some reason he wrote down the reason he got saved and he said the reason why he got saved is that he knew me and Rick before we got saved and he knew God was real. He knew, he, he said, man, I know what y'all used to do and if y'all change God real and, and that's how people come to know who God is by, by us. We stand between people uh, coming to know Christ or not knowing. Or y'all with me? But, and too often, amen, people reject God because of us. Too often. Help me somebody. That too often folks say, no, nah, no, nah, if, 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 if Tim is a Christian, I don't want to be there. Not because of Tim. Not, not, I, Tim don't act like me. I don't know how they supposed to know how the Christian folks act. But 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 Tim, Tim don't act like no Christian. Mm -hmm. Or y'all with me, they don't only even own the Bible, but but they they can they, they judge uh, who God is based on us. We stand between the saved and the unsaved. Yeah. And 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 and, and James knew who he was. Mm -hmm. And because of his relationship with Jesus, he was converted Amen. and got saved. And so, so, so that, that concludes what I'm trying to say about being a great leader. You got to know who you are. You got to know what you are. And you need to know whose you are. Amen. I want to tell you five things and then I conclude. It concludes today's word. Five qualities of a servant leader. Right. Here are five qualities of a servant leader. The first thing about a servant leader is you put others ahead of your own agenda. 
You put others ahead of your own agenda. It, it's not about you, but it's about other people. Number two, you possess the confidence to serve. In order, listen, in order to serve, you must be confident that you are you are right. Yeah. That it does not belittle you to, to wipe other folk off feet. Do you know why most folk can't wash other folk feet? Because they're insecure about who they are. You have to be secure in who you are to watch and serve other people. Number three, you must initiate service to others. You, you initiate it. Amen. You, no, people don't have to ask you. you. You you see a need and you initiate it. Yeah. You meet those needs. Number four, you must be people focused and not position focused. Amen. Other folk ain't gonna serve unless you give them a position. Yeah. If you got to have a position to serve, then you don't need to serve. Amen. Then if if it belittles you to serve other people, you're not worthy of serving. Number five, you must serve out of the motive of love. Amen. The reason you do it is not because you, we're manipulating people, but we do it because we love people and because God loves people. Yeah. And because God loves people, we love people. In spite of who they are and what they are, Amen. That that, 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 that that we realize that the church is a hospital. The people that walk through that door are sick. And I, we realize that. Don't, don't complain to us because people walk through the door and they got issues. Guess what? You, we have issues. Amen. And we still have issues, but God loves us unconditionally. And that's the way a church ought to function. That people ought to come to us because they ain't got to clean up and, and, and fake like they something when they're not. And we ought to accept people right where they are. Yeah. Right. And, and as they come, they come to get to know Jesus. And that's the key. That concludes the, the word today. Amen. Amen. Give God a hand. Have a prayer. Amen. Amen. Every head bow, every eye closed. Father, we come in the name of Jesus. We thank you for your word. And God, thank you for calling us to leadership. Thank you, Lord, for calling us to be influential in this a dark and benighted world. We thank you in advance for what you're going to do. And we realize, God, that it is an honor to represent you in this world and to serve people, that we are only extensions of your love. In Jesus' name we pray, amen and thank God. If you're here today and if you are here on uh, Facebook or YouTube and you've never accepted Jesus' Savior today, it would be a good day to do it. We'd be more than happy to talk to you about that decision. And you can call me at 972 Seven five zero seven five seven eight. For those of us who are giving today, we ask that you call uh, Chris Gags, Amen. And you can call him uh, at his number. Uh, um, is it on there, uh, Chris's number, or either you can give on the uh, uh, the uh, the uh, uh, cash app. Pa cash app. I'm sorry. Thank you. Uh, with the uh, sign, a dollar sign, 2252, or is that the pastor? That's mine, 2252. There is a, a, a cash app for Grace Tabernacle that you can find and give to that. Amen. We thank God for the opportunity to give. I want to thank those of us who have been consistent through this uh, period of the pandemic that, that have been consistent in your attendance. Amen. I also want to encourage you to attend prayer meeting on Wednesday night. And we thank you for uh, your attendance and being faithful and supportive uh, in giving and uh, attendance of our services. That concludes us for today. Uh, see you next Sunday. Uh, that's going to be uh, August the 29th. Same time, same station, same Facebook. 
and YouTube. That concludes us for this week.